Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem in the magnetic circuit, it is a part 3. More problems available and other videos available, the link is given in the description box. Subscribe this channel for more videos, then drive link also available in the description box. We will go to the first problem, a ring has mean diameter of 15 cm and a cross sectional area 1.7 cm square and has a radial air gap of 0.5 mm cut in it. So, this diameter area is related to the ring, iron ring. It is uniformly wound with a 1500 turns of insulated wire and a current of 1 ampere produces 0.1 milliweber across the air gap. Calculate the relative permeability of the iron on assumption that there is no magnetic leakage. Now, we will see the what are the data available. The flux is given 0 0.1 milliweber, so it is 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 weber that can be written as 10 to the power minus 4 weber. This 0 0.1 null by including this 0 0.1 we can write 10 to the power minus 4 weber. The area given as 1.7 centimeter square, so that 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. The centimeter is converted into meter. The air gap length is given 0.5 millimeter, so that is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. The diameter is 15 centimeter, so that radius equal to 7.5 centimeter, diameter divided by 2. The length is given 2 pi rm, L equal to 2 pi rm, so this rm is given. The length is equal to the circumference. Circumference of the core is equal to the length of the magnetic circuit because available in a ring form, in a circular form. So, that length is equal to circumference. This Rm value is given is 7.5 centimeter. So, 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. After simplifying, we got 15 pi into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So, these are all the data available. Now, we will find the values one by one, we need to find the relative permeability of the ion. First, we will find the magnetic flux density B for a air gap. B equal to pi by A. Pi is given 10 to the power minus 4 divided by A is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, after simplifying, we got 0 0.5882 Tesla. The magnetic flux density is calculated. Now, we will go to the magnetic field intensity h equal to b divided by mu naught that is b equal to mu h from that h equal to b divided by mu naught. We need to find mu r this is for air gap mu r is 1 for air gap it is 1. So, b value we calculated 0 0.5882 divided by mu naught value is nothing but the constant absolute permeability 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. So, after simplifying we got 4.681 into 10 to the power 5 ampere per meter. The magnetic field intensity also calculated. Now, we will find the ampere turns for a air gap n into i ampere turns for the air gap h into L g. So, h is h we calculated 4.681 into 10 to the power 5 the length of the air gap is 0 0.5 millimeter that is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So, after simplification we got 234.1. The ampere turn required for air gap is 234.1. Now, we will go to the total mm of required. So, the total mm of required is 1500 into 1 that is 1500. So, at the iron uh, path equal to this is the total magnetic field the total ampere turns required available from that if you subtract this air gap we will find the mm of available in the iron path net iron path will be 1265.9. So, this is the total mm of available from that if you subtract the ampere mm of in the air gap we will get the remaining value. The length of the iron path is 15 into pi into 10 to the power minus 2 minus 
from the total length we need to subtract the length of the air gap this is the total length 2 pi rm from that the length of the air gap is subtracted so that 47.074 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter now we calculated the length of the iron path as well as magnetic ampere tans available in the iron path from that we can find the magnetic field intensity of the iron path so far what we discussed is the air gap now it is for iron path h equal to n i divided by l n i is nothing but this value from total mm of we subtracted the mm of available in the air gap so this is the mm of available in the iron path divided by length length also we calculated from total length air gap is subtracted we can get the length of the iron path so by simplifying this what we got 2689.17 ampere per meter so from this h value we can able to find the mu r value b equal to mu h mu naught mu r into h from that mu r equal to b divided by mu naught h right so this mu naught and h is brought in the denominator so the b value we calculated is 0.882 the lady calculated the b value divided by mu naught is constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and the h value we calculated here 2689.17 by simplifying this we got mu r relative permeability of the ion is 174 now we calculated the value we will go to the second problem an ion ring has cross sectional area 400 millimeter square mean diameter 20 centimeter these two refers the ion core it is wound with 500 turns the value of relative permeability is 250 the total flux set up in the ring we need to find the total flux the coil of the resistance is given is coil resistance is given 480 ohm and the supply voltage is 240 now we'll see what are the data available the area is given 400 millimeter square while converting meter square it is 10 to the power minus 6 400 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square and mu r value is given 250 mu naught is constant absolute permeability 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 the voltage is 240 voltage the resistance of the coil is 480 ohm and number of turns is 500 the diameter is given 20 centimeter so that radius will be diameter divided by 2 10 centimeter that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter now we'll find the value one by one first we'll find current flowing through the coil our final aim is we need to find the flux, flux produced in the air gap, flux produced in the ring. For that first we will find the current, I equal to V divided by R, very simple formula. V is given 240, R is 480, so that 240 divided by 480, 0.5 ampere. Now we will find the mean, mean length, mean length of the magnetic circuit. L equal to 2 pi R, the length is nothing but circumference, because of the ring in the circular form the length is equal to circumference so 2 pi into r is given diameter is given 20 centimeter so r equal to 10 centimeter while converting meter it is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 so by simplifying we got 0 0.62831 meter the length of the magnetic circuit then you'll find the magnetizing force that is magnetic field intensity h equal to n i by l because now L is calculated, I also we calculated. So 500 into 0 0.5 ampere divided by L is 0 0.62831. So by simplifying, we got 397.887 ampere turns per meter. Now the magnetic rising force, magnetic field intensity also calculated. Now we'll find the from this magnetic field intensity, we can find the magnetic flux density B b equal to mu h the relation is available so b equal to mu naught mu r into h mu naught is constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r is given 250 then the magnetic field intensity is given now calculated 397.887 so by simplifying we got 0.125 weber per meter square the unit for magnetic flux density is weber per meter square 
So, from the flux density, we can able to find the flux in the magnetic circuit. Pi equal to B by A. That is B equal to pi by A. So, that pi equal to B into A. So, this B is calculated 0.125 Weber per meter square. And the area given as 400 millimeter square. So, that is 400 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. So, by simplifying, we got 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 Weber. Or we can take it as 50 micro Weber. So, we now we calculated the flux in the ring. So, more problems available, the link is given in the description box and also subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.